If you're predominantly a PC gamer, at one time or another, you've probably toyed with the idea of playing your PC games from your couch on the big screen in your home. But if you're like me, you prefer that mouse and keyboard experience for certain games. So how do we go from our desk using a mouse and keyboard to our living room on the couch without breaking the bank? In this video, I'll be showing you my personal solution as well as going over several options that are available to you. First off, I want to acknowledge that using a wireless controller and an adapter is totally an option for certain games. It might even be your preferred way to play while gaming at your desk on some games. With more and more game developers focusing on console gaming first and then porting their games over to PC, this is resulting in less than optimal mouse and keyboard gaming experiences. So it does make sense for some games for you to use a controller versus a mouse and keyboard while gaming on your couch. But you're a PC gamer and you know what you want. Not all games are created equal. What about those games with no controller support? Or if you're like me, what if you prefer certain games with a mouse and keyboard? Then look no further. This is my personal setup that you can easily take from your desk to the living room with no problems. Let's start with the keyboard. The keyboard of choice for me is the Corsair K63 wireless keyboard. I went with this keyboard for a few different reasons. First off, it's a 10 keyless design. When choosing the keyboard, I specifically looked for a 10 keyless design because I wanted a smaller form factor that could easily be put on multiple surfaces and not be in the way. My next reason for choosing this keyboard is it comes with Cherry MX Red switches. Now I know that switches in the keyboard are up to the individual, but when playing games, I prefer reds. This is due to their effortless keystrokes and how quiet they are compared to other more noisy switches. It's not for everyone, and I'm aware of that. So if you don't like the reds, I might suggest looking around for a keyboard with switches that you prefer. Next is responsiveness while using it. The K63 has no noticeable input lag while using it at your desktop proper and using the 2.4 gigahertz wireless option. I would honestly be okay with using this as my daily driver at my desk and replacing a wired keyboard. So transitioning to your living room, this will be on par with whatever game console you may have in terms of responsiveness. The only noticeable input lag you may have is going to come from your TV while using that as your display. One more thing to keep in mind is the distance at which you will be playing from your PC if you're going to have any walls in the way and other stuff like that. More on that later though. On to the mouse. I decided to go with the Logitech G603 here. For gaming on the couch, I wanted a mouse that was lightweight has long battery life and a good response time. This is exactly what you get with the G603. It's a more modest mouse with less features than the bigger brother, the G903, but at half the price. The G603 doesn't pull any punches with its smaller price tag. It has a one millisecond response time, two programmable buttons on the side, and a DPI shifter right on top. The mouse does use two AA batteries, but this is a non-issue as the battery life on the mouse is amazing. Logitech claims up to 500 hours of battery life here, and I did not test their claims. However, when it came to battery life and time to change the batteries, I had completely forgotten that I was even using a battery-operated mouse in the first place. Finally, onto where everything will rest. Now, if you decided to go with the K63 as your keyboard, your choice of what to rest it on becomes a bit easier to choose from. I would recommend checking out the Lapboard by Corsair. I'm recommending it if you got the K63 because the lap board was designed to hold the K63 and lock it into place. Also, it comes with a decent sized mouse pad and the design seems nice and everything's flush and seems to be sturdy overall. You can find the lap board on Amazon for about $60. However, if you're looking for something a bit on the cheaper side, I was able to find a lap desk at Best Buy for $50. It came with a foam wrist rest that I found to actually be quite nice and a mouse pad that was a bit on the narrow side. But if you're willing to take a look on Amazon, there are several versions out there. So don't fear that you need to go with this particular one. When you're looking though, just be sure that it will hold whatever keyboard you decide to go with, as well as give you room for a mouse pad. Overall, you can pick whatever piece of gear you want for your set at home. I don't want to imply that my setup is best for everyone out there. Leading me into the drawbacks on this setup. When using this setup, you're going to want to look out for the distance at which you will be from the PC, as well as if you have walls in the way of any kind. If you're playing on a PC that sits in the same room as your TV, this should be a totally fine setup. However, you will start running into issues with connection if you start playing games in the next room over, or if you have a wall between you and your setup. I recommend that if you have a Steam Link that you use to game on a TV, 
attach the included USB hubs there to increase your connection stability for your setup. So I guess that leads me into my conclusion. If your TV and couch are nearby your PC, I would recommend taking a look at a wireless gaming setup for your couch. Gaming on the couch is no longer just for console gamers, and it's pretty easy, as you can tell, to go ahead and invest in a setup for your living room. So thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, let me know. Hit the up button, hit the down button, hit the subscribe button, all those things that people pester you guys to do. Um, but most of all, please let me know if you guys like these videos. This is my second um, kind of tech video here. So if you guys could give me some feedback or some video ideas, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, feel free to go ahead and follow me on Twitch. I'm over there as well. Um, but yeah, thanks for you guys tuning in. Appreciate you guys. Have a good one. Peace. Oops.